that Kenya um, received some doses that had expired. Was it anything to do with expiry or that African country had large probably storage uh, you know, capacity? <laughs> At no time mm. has Kenya ever received expired vaccines. Mm. First and foremost, nobody would even uh, export expired vaccines. I, it is important to note that the whole issue of vaccines is tightly controlled by the Global Alliance on Vaccines and Immunization, Gavi, and the World Health Organization that ensures the quality of these vaccines. Vaccines are very special. In fact, their quality is monitored right from the manufacturing, and it is monitored all the way through transportation. There are special monitors that even monitor uh, how the vaccines are moving. If you work with some of our staff, and, and I'll welcome you when you come to Afia House, you will get people with phones that can tell you which truck and the temperature mm -hmm. that these vaccines are moving. Okay. And if there's anything, there'll always be an alert. Mm -hmm. So let me say it has never been. The issue of near uh, expiry is that COVID-19 vaccines have a shelf life of six months. So from production to the time you administer, there's a lot of logistics in terms of packing and everything. So even the very best vaccines will be four to five months. However, remember, in the initial stages, there was the rich countries that had booked the vaccines. They had booked the supply chain. So when they vaccinated their populations and started releasing, they were giving us. The good thing in Kenya is that we had built capacity that even if we got vaccines that were like a month or six weeks, we are able to utilize them before they expire. Mm -hmm. And how about the storage at the counties? Because right now we are seeing uh, with a mass vaccination exercise or campaign mm -hmm. by the ministry, we are seeing uh, county counties storing uh, vaccines. Do they have the capacity to do that? Uh, you have health, very health facilities in, uh, in particular? Yes. Yeah. You have asked a good question and even qualified much better. Yes. The most important point of vaccination is the vaccination post. That is the refrigerator that is down there in that rural health facility. How many types of vaccine can it carry? Vaccines are not just packed like food in a refrigerator. There are specific places where you place which vaccine. There is the temperatures. They are graded. They, are, they have labels. They have, they'll be colored and they'll be told put this year. That is where we still have a constraint because those fridges and, uh, and, and supply and cold chain were meant for childhood vaccination. Mm -hmm. We are riding on that, and that is what we are overloading. And that's why in today's speech, the, the, the Cabinet Secretary Mutai Kagwe said, we will go for 1,177 facilities to expand that. Mm -hmm. Basically meaning having to buy new refrigerators there. Mm -hmm. But we also...